The next breath I'd like to teach is called the 478 breath. And Dr. Andrew Weil, who I studied with, said if you teach a patient anything, teach them the 478 breath. This breath should be done seated or lying down. And for this breath, you will also be breathing through your nose if you're able, breathing in to a count of four, gently holding for a count of seven, very slowly breathing out for a count of eight. So again, your body should be comfortable, feet not tangled and flat, and hands resting comfortably. And sometimes it's useful to put it on your lower abdomen to see if you're able to breathe um, deeply into your hand. So breathing in through your nose, one, two, three, four, gently holding, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very slowly breathing out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The numbers do not have to be exact. If you need to breathe out sooner, than seven, that is also totally fine. And if you don't quite reach eight when you're breathing out, that's also fine. Use those numbers as guides, but do what feels the most comfortable for you. So let's do two more. So breathing in to your own count of four. Gently holding for your own count of seven. Very slowly breathing out to your own count of eight. One more. Breathing in for four. Gently holding for seven or about seven. Very slowly breathing out to eight or approximately eight. So this breath um, is a very powerful calming breath. Some people can feel a little lightheaded with it, so that's the reason for lying down or being seated. And also, if you have cardiac issues, I would not recommend this breath, but stick with the soft belly breathing. There are many different types of breathing that can be relaxing or energizing. And these you could learn if you wanted to explore this with a yoga teacher who teaches this form of breathing.